What is happening guys? Cowboy here and we are ready to continue and head back into Blight Town. So I just remembered that I completely forgot to direct you guys to the Eagle Shield as we were going through Blight Town. Um, I'm gonna make an effort to run back on over and show you the location of that this episode. It's, it's basically near the first uh, Blight Town bonfire that we reached, the one that was up top basically just run and then make a left and kind of walk out onto one of these supporting columns and you can grab it. It's not particularly a good item, but this is supposed to be 100% walkthrough and it is the lightest great shield in the game, so some people might have interest in it. Anyway, from our bonfire, uh, as a reminder for those just tuning in, we came up the water wheel from Blight Town to come here and upgrade our Estus Flask to plus two. Additionally, we went over to Andre to upgrade our weapon up to plus 10. So, uh, damage-wise, we are in a much, much beefier place than we were before. Let's see, 446 on our backstabs now. 261 on the two-handeds. 321 on the two-handeds, like, yeah. It definitely worth doing. Give me the poo-poo. Gotta collect all those poo-poos. Uh, but anyway, so we're actually gonna kill the three fatties this time because we're gonna be doing some stuff up here, and we don't want these dudes following us. Just let this one roar while you back away. Now we're gonna be proceeding straight, and we're gonna be aiming to get the key to the New Londo Ruins. On going right here. Got that. Uh, from there, we're gonna go down one ladder. And we're gonna go down a second ladder. Go ahead and kill this chaos fly. We're gonna walk forward, and you can kind of see how there's like this slanted platform. We want to roll for that and slide to get down. Now, you don't have to, to slide to get over here. I just find that to be the uh, most convenient way. The path of least resistance, if you will. Mm, plus 10 Estus. It's big heals. One throwing knife. Plenty to kill that thing off. Alright, let me... I uh, might as well top off. So, continuing forward, there's going to be uh, two more ladders we're going to be taking down. Oh, never mind. Right there's my ladder. My direction's all mixed up. Uh, but we are going over there to get those items. So we're going to take this ladder. And... That's my next one. Despite all the ladders being marked with torches, I still have hellish time trying to find them all. Go up this way. Go with the full sealer set along with the tin banishment catalyst. As well as the remedy sorcery which can be used to get rid of poison, toxin, all that bad stuff. Um, so... After that drop down, we need to make our way back via the roots, and it's going to be a little bit tricky, uh, but you can get across them, just focus on staying right in the middle. Uh, in general, I find that kind of going across them fast actually works better, but if you slip, I'm sorry, it's going to suck, it's, you know, nothing I can do to, to stop how much that will suck. Um, so far, at least, though, in the remaster, they don't seem to be as slippery. I think that may have been one of the things that was addressed with uh, putting us up to a solid 60 FPS. So come right here. I'm just going to get on the water wheel. Just wait for it. And then we're going to take the wheel on down. Now that we have made it back down to Blight Town, first thing we're going to want to do is go back over uh, to that bonfire and rest up. I'll be going for the boss from here, but before that, I'm actually going to run all the way up and basically speed run my way to the Eagle Shield. Um, do any more? I'm going to bone my way back 
down here. Alright, so to go grab the Eagle Shield real fast if you're interested, I doubt you are. As I said, it's not very good, but what kind of walkthrough would this be if I just kept forgetting things? One Chaos Fly tends to get in the way. this, get rid of the poison. Uh, we're basically just going to be climbing back up real fast here. Oh, hang on. Oh, again, wrong way. Wrong way. Up more ladders. Yeah, see how we have those, like, large supporting pillars? That's basically where the eagle shield is at, like, right up there. Or that one or it's the one next to it. Either way, you're just gonna climb a shitload of ladders. And this is where that uh, fog was previously. Actually, you know, hang on, we don't want to take the fog route. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, there we go, more ladders, that's right. I'm gonna go all the way up and take the fog route. Number of ladders in Blight Town is too damn high. Hey, look, and there's our fog wall from earlier. One that we did not touch last time. No, no, you get off the ladder. This is my ladder. Pick. State exams in Dark Souls. Oh. He backed away, we can ignore him. Here. So that's where the bonfire is at, right around there. That's where the eagle shield is at, over there. Um, so, basically, we would have dropped down and we would have gone this way. Dropped down here. Gone up. Up there, killed blow dart dude. Uh, after all that, said and done. To, actually, there's a separate ladder that gets me over there. Do, 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 do. Kill blow dark guy and native to get to eagle shield. Wait a minute. No, this doesn't make sense. I have an inconsistency in my notes. Yeah, do I? No, yeah, I do use it that way. Alright. Just gotta keep going down. So we dropped. Not there. Dropped. where we kill the thingy. Oh, 
we came from. So, well, oh, I didn't go down to that portion. That's what it was. Go to that portion because I skipped that portion. This is why the Eagle Shield is a pain in the ass. It's like tucked in there. There's nothing else over there. Hi. Why do I want to waste my time with this? Hooray! Alright, now that we've reacquired that piece of shit, um... So just to piece everything back together from like two episodes ago, um, this is the part where we rolled down instead of proceeding down that way, you go down first, get the eagle shield, and then proceed uh, up to kill the blow dark guy that was up in that corner. Anyway. Let's get back to the bonfire and uh, get back on our uh, back on track. So, uh, making our way to the actual boss now. As if we had gotten the Eagle Shield originally and not forgotten about it. Anyway, proceed this way from the bonfire. You can avoid these guys. Uh, what I like to do is just hug the wall all the way around. Um, you can run straight, but we're going to that hole that's right there. If you run straight, all the rock dudes are going to come after you. So if you go wide, I find it's a little bit easier just because uh, by the time that they react to you, you're already like all the way at the boss. Anyway, let's just run on up. See, now they're reacting, but it's like, you know, it doesn't matter at this point. I've already made my way up into the nest. So go ahead and get rid of the poison you have. Uh, at this point, you're going to want to put on anything that has decent fire resist. In this case, uh, my obvious choice here is going to be the Black Knight Shield that I picked up previously. Now, these are the Eggy Boys. Do not attack the Eggy Boys. If you attack the Eggy Boys, a bunch of little things will pop out. See, there are a bunch of them. These things are very hard to hit they hurt. And on top of that, see, they just kind of, yeah, well, I think you get the idea. That's why you don't hit the Eggy Boys. Oh my god, I'm fat rolling. I can get me back my ring. Get me back my Havel ring. Oh, god damn. Eggy Boys are terrible. Get back my helmet. Alright, so, if you did kill Mildred earlier, you can summon her here, of course. Um, and next up, we're fighting Chaos Witch Gwelag. So this boss is honestly more intimidating than it is hard. Um, my general strategy is to stay to the right side of the head, and you'll dodge a majority of her attacks. She's half spider, half woman, she'll swing her weapon around, uh, do a lava spit thing. The only real th oh no, no, Mildred's... Mildred says, I'm killing these things. Let's get him, Mildred. We're in this together. Uh, honestly, the only real threat of this fight is that the boss will do a massive AoE blast. What she's going to do is basically like dip her head down. It almost looks like she's given the, the spider part of her body a hug. When that happens, just run in the opposite direction, or if you have a high fire resist shield, block that shit outright. Uh, if you're not careful, this move can one-shot you. Aside from that, uh, if you have any lightning resin, go ahead and use it. Lightning will help to beat her ass even harder. And aside from that, traverse the light.
Uh, additionally, if you're able to hit her, like using uh, certain halberds or whatnot, she'll take she'll take a lot more damage if you're actually hitting her as opposed to the spider. There's the AOE blast. You can see how blocking it managed to mitigate a ton of that. Uh, this is actually a decent fight to uh, to do just unlocked because you know when you're like this, it's kind of harder to see. There's the body slam. Just back away. Um, another thing I didn't mention, but she'll obviously spew as she spews the lava. It's going to stay on the floor. Um, you know, all you really got to do is just avoid it. Just stay mindful of where you're fighting the boss. Kind of fight it clockwise around the room, if you will, to ensure that uh, you know too much lava doesn't get built up. general staying kind of right here next to the spider part said oh there's the hug and there's a fire shield having a nice shield helps so much to stop that is Mildred dead no Mildred's hanging in there good job Mildred I'm proud of you Obviously, the lava hurts. Stay away from the lava. Uh, anyway, after that, we're going to proceed on forward. Uh, we came up that route. I go this way towards the staircase. Avoid the giant hole in the floor for the time being. And ring a ding ding that bell. large structure you see in front of you is Sen's Fortress. Now we have to go to Sen's Fortress to reach Norlando. Um, my recommendation is to proceed and do the uh, second part of Darkroot Garden before you do that. And we'll be doing that in the next episode. But anyway, so before we're done here, we're going to go down these stairs. Through the hole in the wall. Nor all the eggy people. And we're at the demon ruins. Now we're not going to do anything here. We're simply coming down here to light this bonfire. Aside from that, just be on your way. Uh, the main thing is just to, to have it lit for later on in the game. Run back. Here, an invisible wall. Now this is a Niggy. We're gonna talk to him and tell him yes. Oh dear, what have we here? Are you a new servant? Yes. Mm. Ah, no matter. I pray that you will mind your manners. Now, if you get infected, um, where you actually become one of these guys, you become an egghead, uh, raising. Or getting your, your egg head progression along, you can eventually talk to a Niggy and he'll end up giving you the stuff you need. Uh, the main reason that we came here is to rest in this bonfire. This is one of the main bonfires. And on top of that, this is the bonfire for the Chaos Servants Covenant. They're going to join that added on in. 
Um, now, it's worth joining the Chaos Servants for a couple reasons. One, we get really badass pyromancies with great Chaos Fireball, uh, but also we're going to need to offer them 30 humanity to complete Solaire's quest line. So right now you can't understand anything that uh, Quelag's sister is saying. Uh, later on, when we get the old witch ring, she'll actually have like dialogue. Uh, but for now, at least, you know, we came here to get this bonfire and get the covenant. Uh, additionally, you can kill her to get a firekeeper soul and boost your your uh, Estus flask up to plus three. For the time being, I would highly recommend you do not do that. If we kill her now, we're not going to be able to give her the humanity and rescue Solaire. Uh, this bonfire will also be extinguished, we won't have access to it, unless you feel like dumping 30 humanity into her right now, which I imagine most of you probably don't have 30 humanity to blow at the moment. Do not kill her. Anyway, uh, you can also use her to reinforce your Estus Flask, just like the one at Firelink. So if you are following Lawtrix Chain, you can come down here and get your stuff boosted. Uh, if you do not have a Pyromancy Flame, talking to Niggy, he will be able to give you one. He can also give you a roster and level up your Pyromancy Flame as well. Uh, once you become an Egghead, he'll sell a couple other things as well, but... Uh, the egg egg system is kind of a pain in the ass. What happens is this, this parasitic egg starts growing on your head, and it absorbs souls as you kill enemies, and after it's absorbed a certain number of souls, it will fully mature, and then you're considered an egg head. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass to do, but, you know, that's how it works. Anyway, from here, we have a long run, so I am actually going to wrap up the episode. Um... Basically, we, there's two main places we could go from here. We can spend the 20,000 souls to get the crest of Artorius and proceed through to knock out the back portion of the Darkroot Garden, or alternatively, we can go straight through to Sen's Fortress. Now, going technically by the numbers, um, for example, the soul of Quelag that we just got is worth 8,000 souls. The soul of the boss in Sen's Fortress is worth 12,000, and the uh, soul of the boss that we are going to be fighting uh, down in Darkroot Garden is 16,000, I believe. Let me check my notes here. Yeah, the soul of Sif is 16,000, compared to all the other bosses we're about to fight who are only 12,000 souls. Um, with that being said, Personally, I would recommend going after Sif first. It's a much smaller area, and in my experience, it's better to just get it done, get it out of the way right now so that you don't have to worry about it. Uh, and then from there, we'll naturally be able to go to Sense Fortress and in Orlando. So that's my personal recommendation. However, as we proceed into Darkroot Garden, if you find that you simply just cannot beat Sif at this point in the game, instead you would just uh, go to Sun's Fortress and then go back and tackle Sif a different time. And I don't know where I'm going. I need to use the damn water wheel and get out of here. Um, so anyway, that's going to wrap things up after the boss. Uh, you know, pretty much the same stuff we did already in the last episode. Go up the water wheel, climb the ladders, take it on out to get to Firelink, and then... From Firelink, you would take the elevator uh, that leads into the cathedral, and then from there, you would make your way back towards where the blacksmith was. So if you didn't go back previously to upgrade your weapon to plus 10, you will have a chance to do so shortly. So either way, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time with the next part of the walkthrough.